Disclaimer, I just want to say this is a game and this is not to be taken seriously. So YouTube, stop. Thank you for understanding that this is just for entertaining purposes. Please don't ban me. Ah, Italy. The sons of the old Romans. Once a great empire standing from Iberia to Egypt is now broken. So let's reclaim the Mare Nostrum once more in Führer Reich. Ah, Italy, good old Italy, standing as a member of the victorious Entente from the First Great War, getting mostly what they bargained, but uh, except for parts of Dalmatia, that are still missing from the glorious Italian state. And yet Italy still has some war claims with the French and the British, so no surprises there. So overall, it could be worse, but internally, well, let's just say that it's not going that good considering the economy crashed, as usual. And so this led to a coalition to maintain stability to the country. But that stability is about to change as the 1936 elections approaches. The future of the coalition is also uncertain. As the party continues to disagree in major stuff, it appears that either the Social Democrats will maintain control or the Conservative wing will assume leadership. In other interesting news, General Italo Balbo has returned from Libya, now returning victorious after securing the Italian control over North Africa. As such, he shall be welcomed as a hero. But in more disturbing news, Albania is dealing with even more problems than us with their internal situation against the collectivists, so we will need to keep uh, an eye out. But now it's time for the 1936 Italian elections to take place. And so, many important questions have come up. What will our foreign policy be like? I think it's clear that in the new age that is approaching, Italy must forge its own destiny. But why does it say anti-American electoral result if it's affecting countries in Europe? I guess the national populists and Balkans are not big fans of how the Americans represent Italian cuisine. Anyway, where was I? Ah, yes, the, the elections. <clears throat> So, the question of organized crime must be answered. It is clear that this is a product of international influence, especially the US, with their mafia connections in Sicily. So, I guess that's just another reason of why the Balkists hate the Americans. Although, I think they are more pissed off at the way pizza is made in America. Now, the economy. If Italy is to survive and prosper as a fully independent nation, free from foreign commitments and influence, we must strive for autarky even though it's technically a and we want to, and you know, it's kind of oxymoronic that we want to rid of all foreign influence, but that's besides the point. Next, what to do with the monarchy? It is clear that if we are to replicate the achievements of the Romans, we need a new powerful leader and not a hereditary weak monarchy. And the final question, what should we do with our colonial policy? Italy, as any other great power, has the right and the will to empire. The Romans did it, and look at what they did for the world, so it's only natural for the sons of Rome to do the same. Now wait you do please know it's a game! <laughs> oh, would you look at that, the Nationalist Co Coalition has won the elections, now it's time to begin the road to greatness. But just after celebrating our victory in the elections, news from Albania have arrived that even after all our efforts, the government has fallen to the collectivists. We can't let a threat to our position in the Mediterranean exist, so to Albania we go. Yeah, I don't know what the Albanians expected when we had three more divisions than them, so it was just more of a walk into the capital to restore order than a proper invasion. Either way, this victory in elections was still just a victory for a nationalist coalition, so it's time to decide which party will assume complete dominance of the future of the country. The traditional nationalists just want to keep the own institutions alive, as, you know, they don't know how to truly make Italy great again. As such, it's the national syndicalists that are going to take re the reign and make sweeping changes. Oh, and would you look at that, in this mod, especially in Fury Redux, which is the version I'm playing, uh, Mexico and the US actually tend to go to the, go war early on, and because at the start of the game the US is pretty weak, Mexico has a field day with them, so I retract my praise and made to the AI in a past video about this situation in another mod. But that still doesn't mean I won't support my Mexican brothers just to see if they win. 
Now that the national syndicalists have been chosen to lead the coalition, we must now secure our grip over the country so that we can march on parliament and finally proclaim the new Italian Republic. With the reborn of Italy with the ideals of De Annunzio, we shall establish a new legal frame framework as a new corporate society ready to take the next step in reclaiming Italy's greatness. But in the meanwhile, it appears that the Mad Lads in Mexico actually won against the US. The only problem is that they were now dying to the margins, but that's besides the point. But you know, I'm sure this is just a minor step back for the US. I'm sure they're fine at... Oh. Mm. Uh, well, I did not expect this. No. Anyway, with a proper and strong government now in place, it's time to discuss our territorial disputes with the French. But disaster hits before even the conference can take place, as our great leader Danuncio was found dead in his private villa. With him dead, we are kind of in a difficult position. But one thing is clear: he will never compromise with the French over the Italian people. So it's time to forge our own destiny. And since we're no longer part of the Entente, it's time to re we reassert our territorial claims over the French. Well, we still need to decide the next Comandante of Italy after the death of our great leader. We have three options, and really I would show you all three of them if only I still had the save game, but since I lost it and I really don't know any of these guys, I just chose at random. And now it's time to decide the future of the Balkans and reshape it as we desire. Serbia has been a roadblock to our influence in the Balkans, so it's time we get rid of it. So our justification will be the Albanian claims as they are under our protection. But it's not just going to be Serbia, oh no, the Balkans will be redrawn to suit our needs. As such, we need to get some alliances, and we're better allied than Bulgaria that has the same enemies and ambitions as we do. We shall do the same with Hungary, as, as they could also serve as a great ally in this new Balkan order. Now, with all of our new allies, it's time to dismantle Serbia's whole. But those meddling French have warned us that they would support Serbia in this new re rearrangement of borders. Well, no matter, let the French do as they wish. But interestingly, the French demands were just bluffs, so with their bluff called out, it's time to march into Serbia. To be fair, I actually don't know what if, if this is supposed to be a bug or something, because the French did not even guarantee Serbia, or nor did Serbia join the Entente, so, uh, so maybe a bug fix is required, I don't know. The offensive started and it actually went quite well. We pushed all the way towards Belgrade, but the only problem was that, as you will see in this video, there were no supply hubs in Bosnia. As such, the offensive stalled for a bit, but I did manage to capture Belgrade, getting much of the needed supplies, and yet the Serbians were not capitulating. And that's when I remembered that I had Bulgaria as an ally, so I just called them into the war and soon after the Serbians surrendered. So I decided to take Croatia, Bosnia and most of the coastal provinces, while I just gave Macedonia to Bulgaria and I installed a Serbian puppet. I would have given Bushbodina to Hungary if they only had not declared war on Slovakia, which was part of the German faction. And now it's time we fight regain that modern Ostrom by reuniting the entire Mediterranean under a single unitary state. But not before Germany decides to start the Second Great War by going for the Rhineland. As such, we must support our Italian brothers in the French territory, as we might soon join the fun. Oh, and it appears good old Albion has had enough of France's bullshit. Yeah, definitely we are joining this war as soon as possible. 
So we joined the war on basically the coalition side since Germany and now Britain were at war with France. And as you could imagine, being able to war with three major nations is never a good idea, so France was really stretched thin in that regard. So we quickly advanced into the southern part of France, and I also tried to do the same in North Africa, but the, that did not work as expected. Either way, France completely collapsed and retreated to their Algerian colonies. But not before I also declared war on the Greeks, since I want my modern Ostrom, you know. And with the help of the Bulgarians, the Greeks were overwhelmed and soon collapsed. And you know how we basically are big Roman LARPers and all of that. We're so into the LARP that just like the actual Romans, we are scared shitless of the Germans to the point we are returning in South Tyrol to the Austrian local government as war with those Germanic barbarians would not end so well. Just look at how Rome fell. <coughs> with that fiasco behind us, I decided to finish up the French remnants in Algeria by launching a naval invasion that caught the remaining French troops off guard. But now we must reform the charter so we can finally Oh, implement our corporate vision for not just Italy but the entire Mediterranean. So the first thing is to give more power to the workers, farmers and teachers as they make the core foundation of Italian society. Tunisia fell shortly afterwards and so Morocco was the only French stronghold. Now it's time to discuss the fate of the armed forces. It's clear that if we are to reunite the entire Mediterranean we will need a strong and centralized army. Morocco also fell and now it's time to decide the fate of the French colonial empire and its allies. So the world looked like this. I divided France with G Germany so I could have my Mare Nostrum. I got all of North Africa, Germany got, well, all of Europe that was under the French influence and the Brits just got colonies since they did jack shit. But our conquests were not done just yet as we still have a lot of work to do, so to Hispania and Egypt, we go. But first, we shall encourage artists to revive the old Roman culture, as we already have the industrial might thanks to our conquests. So, both invasions started, but I also started a third one in Turkey, so now we're fighting a three-way conflict, but thankfully two out of the three were so, well, two out of three nations were so weak, so it was not really a problem. Egypt fell, and soon after, Hispania did as well. Oh, and just a quick side note, if you're ever invading Spain in this mod, look out for the resistance levels in their states because they're usually pretty high since each side of the conflict does not have cores in each other's land, and because of that the war lasts so long, they can't garrison the occupied states, and that leads to high resistance which can kill your army's equipment, so keep that in mind. Oh, well, would you look at that, e Ethiopia thinks they can refuse our demands even after we control almost all of the Mediterranean. Boys, go teach them a lesson! Let's just hope we do a better job than a certain Italian bald man. And the final reform will be to strengthen the great commandant as he will lead us to glory. Now the only thing that is left is to solidify the charter once and for all. Returning to the front, remember the thing I said about supplies during the war with Serbia? Well, the situation with Turkey was pretty much the same, as the central part of the country does not have any supply hubs, so I had to wait a long time before they were built, and I could start going on the offensive again. So don't mind me leaving the game until that happens! The next day... Uh, oh, uh, uh, what happened? Uh, oh, it appears the Germans were at war with the Russians and the Germans just steamrolled the Russians. So now Germany is pretty much invincible. Also, big Ukraine, since they did help out in that war. Well, either way, those supply hubs were finally being built, and so I th thought I could push again, but nope. At this point, those Turks were entrenched, so that... It was pretty much impossible to push. So, what did I do in this case, you may ask? Well, in times like these, it's time to bring out our inner British AI and launch random naval invasions to distract the AI. And so, after a landing in the southern part of Anatolia, I encircled some troops 
and widened the front line enough to push into Ankara and capitulate Turkey. Now it was only a matter of taking Syria and Iraq before tackling the British Lion. But at some point the Germans declared war on the British, something happened that would make my plans all the while easier. Syria fell. And Portugal, which had survived the initial Spanish invasion, were destroyed. Iraq fell as well. Oh, I also declared war against Armenia since I wanted to fix those borders, but I was so generous that I left them alive but just took the Turkish provinces. Romania was also reintegrated as they are our Latin brothers. But as you may imagine, those borders would look weird with Bulgaria, and since they were mostly just a pauper either way, well... Also, Serbia needed to go for those borders. Now the only thing that was missing was to take the British possessions, so the last war was about to start. The invasion of Cyprus, Gibraltar, the Suez Canal, the Holy Land and Malta all began and because the British were distracted with the Germans, all of them f fell to the Italian forces. Well, except for Malta, as for some reason it had a medium tank, so I had to use some more divisions, and actually I had to use the force attack mechanic to actually kill that medium tank. But after some time it finally fell, and so the entire Mediterranean was under our control, restoring the idea of Mare Nostrum. And that was the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it, remember if you would like to see more content like this in the future, subscribe as this helps out the channel, this was Defectus, you are dismissed soldier.